Here we go. We're very excited today. Meet the Biz with Marianne Ross. Woo! Hey, everyone. Hey. How's everybody doing? You are. How out? I love it. Excited. Hey, Sarah. Very excited. Hey, Momo called the wedding off. Uh, I told you. I told you. That's it. Well, I guess Arnold couldn't compete with Clark Gable. Nobody can. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Almost nobody. This has nothing to do with Clark Gable. Momo noticed how Americanized Arnold is, and she figured that since she is still very Japanese, she would hold Arnold's career back. Well, what did Arnold say about that? Well, that's the problem. All he found out was that the marriage is off. She was crying so hard, she hung up. It's a shame. She really loves him. So there's not going to be a wedding? Yes, there's going to be a wedding. Arthur is the best man, and he's going to go and explain this to Arnold, and then Arnold can talk to Momo. Now, listen, listen. I have caused enough trouble already, you know what I mean? Now, the only shot that those two people have is if I stay out of it. The Fonzarelli curse cannot be broken. It's ridiculous to try. That's it, that's all, and that's goodbye. Fonzie, sit on it. <laughs> Everybody duck! Hey, what did I just hear? I think we should just all calm down and... I'll handle this, Howard. <laughs> you heard what I said. I understand about your curse and all that, and I know you are the Fonz with the hay and the woe, but you are the best man, and you have an obligation as that best man, and you cannot shirk your obligations. Even the Fonz cannot stand in the way of true love, and you have got to talk to Arnold if you get my drift, and that's all, and that's it, and goodbye. <laughs> I think I want to have to hit her. No, you're not going to hit my wife. Oh, yeah? Well, then I'll hit you. Well, you can't hit my dad. All right, I'll hit you. You can't hit my son. Well, I got to hit somebody. You know where Potsy is? Look, Fonzie. All right, all right. I know I'm going. I'm going. But I'm not going because I just got yelled at. And I'm not going because she thinks she's right and I'm wrong. I'm going because I'm a sweetheart of a guy. Well, I want to introduce this lovely lady, uh, Marion. Um, I know you're there. We have, we are so excited. Um, uh, again, we have uh, Angela Thomas and Diamond Russo is our wonderful interpreters. And today on Meet the Biz, we are very excited because we have, um, this is, she is everyone's mom. Um, she, she made our days much happier growing up, watching <laughs> happy days. Uh, the voice of grandma in SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, she played Sally Field's mother on Brothers and Sisters. Um, the terrible mother-in-law in that 70s show, the feisty matriarch in the Gilmore Girls, and of course, she in Happy Days. Um, and today is a happy day for me and for all of us here at Meet the Biz and Performing Arts Studio West, because she's here today with us on Meet the Biz. Everyone, Miss Marianne Ross. Hello there, David. Are you David? I am. How are you? I'm so happy to be here. And, and you're my, my darling girl. What is your first name? Angela. Uh, oh, okay. Angela. Well, good, mo good morning. Good morning, my darlings. Oh, my God. We are so, we've been so excited to have you come here. And I mean, what is it? Of course, you just received a bronze statue of yourself in your hometown. Oh, I did. I did. My, my hometown is Albert Lee, Minnesota. 
Ah, oh my God. And it's right in front of the Marion Ross Performing Arts Studio on, isn't it right next to Marion Ross Street? It, it's right, and it's right by the lake. It's right by the lake. You must all go to, uh, to Minnesota and see it someday, okay? You promise? Uh, uh, I, I definitely promise. Okay. I definitely promise. This is great. How is it? I mean, again, like, like I mentioned, you, you're like the mother of us all. We grew up and we felt like, in a way, we felt safe with you uh, right on, on that tube. How does it feel being a nationally loved icon on television? Oh, you know, that this feels so comfortable. I love it because I love you and you love me. And here we all are together. How it could be better. Aww. Oh, I love that. I love that. You know, and, and what I loved also, and I got your book. This is Marion's book, My Days, Happy and Otherwise. Uh, and what I loved about this too, Marion, is that um, you have the audiobook too, because I love audiobooks. Yes. And to hear your voice tell the story is uh, just wonderful. Good, good. Have, have the children heard the audio? Do they like it? Do they use it too? I, you know, I'm not sure who has heard it yet, but um, uh, it's, it's something wonderful, especially to have like your TV family have voices on the audio. Yes, because I, I talked to the Fonz quite a bit. I talked to Ron Howard quite a bit. Mm. And then and, um, Aaron Moran is gone, is no yeah, more. Yeah. And, but Donnie Most and Anson Williams. It's a wonderful family, my TV family. Well, that's one thing that's so amazing. And it, it feels like it when I see you out there um, is that the family, even though the show was from the 70s, the family has continued. It has. And you know, we have a softball team together. And, ah. we, and we go and we go and we raise money and we play softball. And I, <clears throat> my job, it, I, because I can hit pretty good. I can't feel too good because right. sometimes I just throw the ball the ball to to Ron Howard and then he can throw it in okay. I, love that. <laughs> I love that when I I played softball when I was younger and I was center field and I caught the ball once in a while <laughs> <laughs> well uh, I, lo I love to I love to bat you know yeah. I love that it is fun to like go Boo! it is oh great <laughs> um what was I, I was going to say that also uh, uh, to have your book on audio, my dear friend, Jerry Jewell, who yeah. says hello to you. Oh, yes. Jerry Jewell. I love Jerry Jewell. Uh, in fact, that's the first time I met you. We were at a, a comedy oh. show and she introduced me to you. And it was just, again, every time <laughs> somebody's in your presence, you just feel, again, safe and loved. So oh, thank good. you for that. Good. Well, I feel safe in the world isn't that something i i love all of us what we've done together yeah right. i love that i love that positive attitude too because especially in this last year it's been you know sort of scary with what we've been going through with the pandemic and all but it's that positive attitude it seems like that you have i'm very positive and i'm very healthy and mm -hmm. i i sometimes i have to take you know, very good care of myself so that I don't pick up a germ somewhere. Right. But uh, I think I think it's good to hang in there and be strong and run up and down. I, I'm very, I love a lot of exercise, you know? I heard that is something that really keeps us going, uh, eating right and exercise. Yes, absolutely. Go for big walks. I like to go out into the garden and do a lot of weeding oh. and... Um, just walk around and look after everything. You know? you know, I love that you said that because right now I'm living with my mom up north and she has a rose garden. So oh, I just- really? And I, where is, oh. and where is up north? Where is that? Uh, up north is in um, the Bay Area near San Francisco. Okay. Uh, well, San I, was, I was raised in Minnesota and which was oh. wonderful because it was so cold and snowy and wintry and icy. <laughs> <clears throat> in the winter yeah. and then in the summer we had all those lakes and we swam and swam and swam oh wow 
I love it. I love it. I love the snow. I remember going to visit Lake Tahoe all the time to see my brother and we would go skiing. Um, one thing that I read was your first love was and is the stage. And I, I read that, I mean, oh, I wish I would have seen this performance with Gene Stapleton and Arsenic okay. and Old Lace. Yeah, right. You... And I worked with no, and I worked with the great Noel Coward. <sighs> we did, uh, we did a live show at CBS. <clears throat> and we, and we, Spirit. pardon me? Spirit. We did Blythe Spirit at CBS live. Oh. And then we went to a big party at Clifton Webb's house. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that was fine. We, and, and Noel Coward. And one of the first books I read when I was learning to be an actress right. was Noel Coward's Present Indicative. And that was his autobiography. Oh. Very, so, and now to work with him, to work with him, unbelievable. Ah. Uh. That must have been like one of the, the biggest thrills. It really was. It For really both was. of you. Well, <laughs> I don't know how Noel Coward, he'd, he'd certainly worked with some awfully important people in his time, you know. Well, it was I fun know. at CBS and we did it live. Live. How is it? How is audience. it doing a show live on TV? It's, it's pretty. Tense, you know. And I remember that Leon Ames would 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 uh, get his lines all mixed up. Vinny, he would say, he would get, <laughs> <laughs> "It's wonderful." Oh my God! Did you have of all the shows you did on the stage? Was there one favorite that comes to your mind? Well, you know, I did with Gene Stapleton, and I did Arsenic and Old Lace on the stage. And we did it on tour and we did it in New York, New York City. Mm. And I love Jean Stapleton. God bless her. God bless her. So we became very, very close friends. What perfect casting. I could just see the two of you together on that stage. Well, two old ladies we were. <laughs> we had an awful lot of fun. Yeah. Oh Hi, David. My. Hi. Well, we've got some wonderful students in a couple minutes. We've got, um, I know they have. Um, Huh? questions as well so oh, I want I want some questions oh yeah. we're gonna have it you know here's a question too what what are two of your favorite characters that you play on tv uh well of course I, I can't beat happy days yeah. I love being on happy days hello David hello we have the wonderful Marion here today Marion Ross hello Hello, hello. In regards to, of course, Mrs. C is, uh, we love that role, but you were in the Brooklyn Bridge where you were nominated for an Emmy twice. Oh, I, and you know, I was, and I, and I was Jewish. And I, they, they said, are you Jewish? And I said, no, I'm, I'm not Jewish, but I can play this, I can play this. And then I hired a coach to help me with my accent. It was, so it was wonderful. Oh my God, that's one. And now, and then you won a Golden Globe nomination for your role in The Evening Star with Shirley MacLaine. Oh, and Shirley MacLaine was so difficult to work with. She really was. So don't let her know that. Don't <laughs> let her know that I told you, okay? <laughs> um, and then what else? You played Drew Carey's mother in the Drew Carey show. Oh, I love Drew Carey and I love being his mother. Yes, it was wonderful. Oh, um, what, what advice would you give to up and coming actors and performers? What is it like? Or yeah. what advice would you give? Oh, what advice to, uh, um, hmm. you've got to, you've got to really want to do this acting job thing. You really got to want to do it hard because it's difficult. It's yeah. difficult and there's a lot of personalities around and you want to make friends and try to keep out of trouble. Okay. Yeah. That trouble thing could be hard. Sometimes. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I want to get to, the, to some of the questions we have. I know a bunch of questions and I'm, uh, I, I have, I'm going to see if Zuli Johnson here. Zuli, are you there? Zuli? Let's see, wave your hands. Oh, there she is, I saw her. 
Hold on one second. I'm going to get add the spotlight for Zuli. There's Zuli Johnson. Oh, yes. You're so pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I just <laughs> wanted to say you and Mom did it after this all time. And you've been so much joy in my life. Can you? Mm. Like, I got your fit. I got your fit line is, oh, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great line. Oh, Howard. <laughs> oh, oh, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. So, Zuli, what question do you have today? Yes, I do. Um, how do you feel when you find out that you were nominated for the Evening Star Support Actors from the Golden Awards? How, how did you feel? when uh, you found out you were nominated for the best supporting um, uh, for the Golden Globe Awards for Evening Star? Oh, I was pretty darn thrilled, pretty thrilled because television had a, oh, a lot of competition, you know? So, uh, and, and to be the, the TV mom, that's not such a big deal, you know? So I was really thrilled, thrilled. Oh, I love it. Uh, th thank you, Zuli. Thank you. Uh, so you're very pretty, honey. Thank you. So are you. Oh. Thank you. Well, we have a, a, a dear friend of mine here who's uh, coming in from Meet the Biz. We have Mr. Terry Ray, the uh, incredibly talented uh, Mr. Terry Ray, who has a hit show out now. Hi, can you hear me? Hello, Terry. Hi, Hi Marianne. What a pleasure. Um, so you, your career is so... Uh, far stretching you, you've done everything and I was just wondering if there's something that you're particularly proud of that you don't get to speak about very often because um maybe it's something that hasn't rerun or it's a play that's gone that we haven't seen but is there something that you're really proud of that we don't really know about and maybe if it's a rerun we can look for uh, and that's hard to know it would be something that you wouldn't know about because well Brooklyn Bridge because Brooklyn Bridge for where, where I played Jewish and I'm not Jewish. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so they said, you, you play this Jewish woman and you the, the head of this Jewish family and you live in Brooklyn. And I loved it. You were fantastic on that. I watched, I know it didn't last long, but I watched every bit of it and you were terrific in that. You deserved well, all that acclaim. I, I, I loved it so much. And that was Gary Goldberg's creation. And yes, and, and it was he, such a different role for you. And he was creating something out of his own life. And it was very different for me because yeah. she was straight ahead. She was straight ahead, said it the way it was, you know? There's well, nothing, that, nothing charming about her. And that's why you got <laughs> nominated because it was so different from Mrs. Cunningham. It was just completely different. And, and Absolutely. Brilliant at it. Brilliant. Good. Terry, thank you so much. And I can't wait to come see your show in Palm Springs. Thank you very much. Okay. You're oh. all in my, uh, you're all in my kitchen here. <laughs> I love it. Farm. What's for right breakfast, home. mom? I'm sure it smells yummy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not much of a cook. <laughs> well, we can order in. All right, please do. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry. Yes. Um, next, we have Katie. Katie, Katie. Harney, let's see where Katie is. There she is. Ta da! There we go. Hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. You're so pretty. Hello. Thank you. So are you. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us today. We appreciate it a lot. I love you. So, I own you. I own you. <laughs> oh, I love you too. Love you too. I remember watching Happy Days as a child, but I'm curious, you said that um, you got the part on Happy Days at age 46, I think, I'm correct with that? Yeah. And I'm 46 right now. So I'm wondering, do you have any advice in regards to how to navigate the Hollywood landscape and the people in Hollywood you know, gracefully, but also as a strong woman. Well, you know, you don't look, you don't look 
46 now <laughs> and and so and that's the trick we we're liars you know we're liars we lie about our age and we we just we i think of myself as being a much much younger person if you want to know mm -hmm. so so that's that's the game yeah. i play with myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> i do as well <laughs> do you also you've played well we all know you as mrs c the sweet mom from Happy Days, but you've played a variety of mom characters, some a little well, I, more. Feisty. I love, big, you know, I was when I was on Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, now all yeah. of a sudden, I'm being Jewish. All right, Jewish, New York City, uh, and and I had a special coach to help me with that. And uh, and I bet you still eat matzo balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I love being Jewish, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I was going to ask if, if there was a particular character, like a mom character that you played that's the closest to how you are as a mom in real life, you think? Well, I think the, the mother on Happy Days was very much how I was because we did that every day for for uh, you know, how many years did we do it? So that had to come out of uh, right out of my natural being, oh, right. if it was difficult yeah. and, then, and different from me, then it was harder for me to do. This was very, very easy. And I had to also put up with Tom Bosley. Uh -huh. right. Right. And he was so crabby. He was so crabby. So <laughs> I had to get along with him. I thought, God, you come all this way and be married to Tom Bosley? My God. So, <laughs> Oh my God, I love but it. I had, but I had the fonds. I had the fonds. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. You know, I was watching today clips of, all, of different moments of you and the fonds, and I was just, oh, it was just brought me back to my childhood. Well, <laughs> and you know, Ron, I, Ron and I were very close, but not chummy like the fonds and I. The yeah. fonds and I were, were, were snuggly, snuggly, kind of, you know. Right. So. I, I was like, I, you know, I was thinking, Oh, is she going to cheat on her husband? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Um, I believe we have Mr. Danny McNett next. Danny, are you here? Let's see. Raise your hand if you are. Raise your hand. Do we see Danny? Is that Danny? Do we see Danny? In in the in the kind of rosy shirt rosy shirt that's a oh there's danny let's see let's see at spotlight here we go i need to be okay. you are on danny danny are you are you a, a good softball player yeah softball? No, not a very good softball player okay uh, uh how you was to the bat <laughs> uh <laughs> How was um, Jack, Jack Lord as a person? You had two episodes uh, on the original Hawaii Five O with him. One was uh, called uh, 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 Air Cargo Dial for Murder, Murder as uh, Anita Putnam, and and you had uh, you actually. You actually played a hard-nosed nurse and and actually blind tiger. Oh yes. Ah, yeah, uh, how was how was working with Jack Lord and on Hawaii? I Pablo? thought he was I thought he was difficult. Oh, he was difficult. Yeah, Ooh. he really was. So don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell him apparently, or um, apparently uh, he isn't around okay. anymore right. though. He's dead. But I I thought he was difficult. So uh, uh, so um well, and, and demanding okay yeah okay. Well, and well at least it must have been fun uh filming in hawaii oh it was it yeah. was fun a lot a lot and so we would go swimming you know and right. go out on a paddle board and go out into the surf well then i know it's, it's not a bad life you know an actor's life is not a bad life Especially no. if you get roles that take you different places and you get to travel and yeah. you get to go to New York City and then you go to the Midwest 
where I come from. And then you go to California, not a bad thing. You said so, that uh, and it, it reminded me of hi diddly D and actors like for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, the only thing about an actor's life is that sometimes mm, there's not enough work you know, yeah. and you're not making enough money. And, and some other actress comes along and gets the part, you know, so it's full of, it's full of ups and downs. Yeah, yeah, but we just ride the wave. <laughs> yeah. Ride the coaster. Thank you, Danny, that was wonderful. Thank you, Thank Danny. You. Uh, let's see who we, you know, I have a question before we let on the next one. What is your biggest joy in life? Oh, do you know, it's, I call my house Happy Days Farm, mm -hmm. and I love, uh, I love gardening, and I love planning things, and I, and I like moving the furniture all around. <laughs> I'm not a good cook. I'm not a good cook, but I like the look of things, you know? I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So who cooks in the house? My husband did all the cooking, and he was Lebanese which was wonderful. He was a wonderful cook. Can oh, you imagine? I, yeah. Now he's passed away. So now this, the cooking here is not good. Oh. Not good. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have my brother come to LA. I'm okay. you, he, he, All right. He's pretty good. Okay. Good. He's pretty good. Um, let's see who's next. We have Shannon Direx. Shannon Direx, let's see where you are. La, 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 wave your hand. Oh, there she is. There she is, Shannon Dierex. Hello, um, Shannon Dierex. Oh, there you go. Um, what was your favorite episode of Happy Days? I think my favorite was I got to dance with the Fonz. We, were, we did a dance contest and we won the contest. And so they hired a special uh, coach to, tra to train us to dance better. And it was very thrilling because I love Henry Winkler. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank you, Shannon. That was a beautiful one. Thank you. Um, let's see. Next we have, and uh, um, I don't want to say an old high school buddy, but we went to high school together. Um, and, uh, and Mr. Matt Creeks, all the way from Florida. Wave your hand, Matt. Wave your hand, Matt. Where are we, Matt? Okay, well, I'll find you. I will find you. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, there you are. Ta da! There Hello. We go. Hello. Is that Hello. you, Matt? Oh, here you are. Hello. Hi, Hi Mr. Hello, Matt. Hello, Hello Matt. Hi. It's a joy, a joy to connect with you. Uh, and, you know, my question for you is two years before Happy Days premiered in 1974, you appeared as Mrs. C on Love American Style. Um, did you know at that time that Happy Days was going to be a spinoff or how did that come about? How were you notified of that? See, you know, first of all, I have a lot of trouble remember all, all, these, all these details anymore. <clears throat> That's but what Google is We had is no for. idea that, that Happy Days was going to be such a big hit. We had no idea. So uh, it was just, it was fun to be doing a live show at CBS with an audience out there too. So fun. Was it a two camera shoot or a three camera shoot? Three cameras, three cameras. Yeah. And you retired from acting in 2018. Did the itch finally go away or is it something no, about I, it? I really have missed? not retired from acting. Oh, uh, <clears throat> that's what the internet says. My, my assistant says, yes, you have. Yes, you have. <laughs> but <laughs> but Mary, you like, say no. So you're it's open. Like, it's like, I have, to, I'll say to somebody, what is that line? What is that? What am I supposed to say here? What is that line? What is that line? <laughs> that's because I forgot. I forgot. So that's, you see, that's, I'm now 90, almost 93. Ooh, Beautiful. Can you believe that? Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, it was a wonderful pleasure to connect with so you, that's David. Why Thanks I for inviting me. I take vitamins, children. Oh, yeah. vitamins are good. Thank you, Matt. I love seeing you. Bye-bye, uh, Don. 
Oh, I love it. This is a talk about a family The performing arts studio West and meet the biz and bringing everybody together is an extended family for me. So uh, thank you, Marion, for joining us here. We have a few more questions. Uh, we have, let's see, we is just, let's see. I think I saw Mikey, 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 wave your hand, Mikey. Oh, there he is. Mikey! Hi. I'll have you say your full name. Hello, Mikey. Hello, Mrs. Ross. I'm Mikey Trahan. It's so, I am giddy with glee meeting you. <laughs> I give you Literally. a kiss. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm gonna take them all those. Oh my God, I'm getting kissed by America's mom <laughs> is the greatest thing to have happen. We, I gotta tell you something before I ask my question. We have a mutual friend in Kathy Silvers. Oh yes, I love Kathy Silvers. I, she, I adore that and woman she's with all Phil my heart. Silver's daughter, for God's sake. Uh, Phil, God. And she was on Happy Days and she was on our softball team. And she's been a wonderful, wonderful friend. Yeah. She is, I will say, she is a wonderful friend. I'm really blessed to have her as my pal. And she speaks highly of you. No, I'm so glad. So, my question is. Um, with the advent of all the streaming television, how do you feel television has changed now that it's there's so much TV? Huh. Does Isn't it a wide range of things from talk shows to game shows to selling things? Yeah. It so, is. It, uh, I feel like we used to know everybody because we had three networks and mm -hmm. now we have a multiple, multiple, multiple. I know. And, and I pretend that I know everybody, you know, I pretend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I do that I'm too. Kidding. I pretend oh, a lot. I shake my head and nod a lot. How are you? Oh, oh I know you. you. Yeah. I, and and it I, makes I pretend I know everybody, you know, on the streets, you know. Right. It makes everybody happy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you one more question, if I may. Sure. If I may, David. Um, uh, what do you prefer, sherbet or sorbet? Uh, <laughs> I don't know the difference. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the difference <laughs> either. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have a favorite flavor? Oh, yes. I suppose strawberry. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We had that Thank last you. night. Did you? I do. Uh, thank you, Mikey. It's very good to talk to you, my darling, Mikey. It's good to talk to you as well, my friend. It's a real, I to tell you, I never thought a little guy from White River Junction, Vermont, would ever have the chance of meeting oh, Mrs. Vermont. B. Aren't you lucky to live in Vermont? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely there. Lots yeah. of, my folks make maple syrup. I'll have cookies send you some. Oh, I'm from Minnesota. And so we had nothing but lakes, 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 lakes. And lakes. I bet you had plenty of snow. Snow and lakes, snow, yeah. snow and lakes. We have, we have the snow and trees. Yeah. Did you swim a lot in those lakes? Oh, all the time, all the time. Junior lifeguard. Yeah, yeah. The lakes, the lake was our life. And then in the winter, it froze over. And then you would put on your skates, and you would skate to the to the skating mm. rink. And maybe some boy would, if there was some music, <laughs> would skate with you. You know. Right. Oh my Ooh. God. You know, I wouldn't see, mind a boy skating with me now. <laughs> <laughs> see, if I'll I was skating it. on that, I wouldn't be on my skates. I'd be on my tuchus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we used to cut a big, a big acreage of and take the ice out of the, of the lake and right. store it in the ice house. So now here was this big gaping area, fresh water. So that we took the ice out and here's water. So, uh, God, I, I would have to be so careful. And the one time a dog, a dog got down in the water and I got down on my stomach and reached across and grabbed his paws and see if I could get him out of that icy water. And I did pull him out and a man came along and kicked that dog and the dog went ow, 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 and off he ran. And I thought that was the world's worst man, but it was a good thing he kicked that dog. Otherwise that dog would be frozen right there and right. where he was. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, what a story that was. I love that. Thank you, Mikey. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, David. Why don't we, why don't we ask 
Let's see. Oh, Alex Hart. Alex Hart. Oh my God, she's so excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there she is. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, mm -hmm. my darling. Yes. Hello. Hello. So nice I, to see you. Yes. But my question for my question for you is what is what is your heritage background? Okay, I am Scotch Irish, Scottish on my father's side, on the Ross side, and Irish on my mother's side. My mother was a Canadian, and because I was Irish on her side, she was a great storyteller and really an actress, just naturally actress. My father, being a Scotsman, was more serious. And, and we would say to him, Daddy, it's a joke. Daddy, it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. So he, 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 took, he took everything pretty serious. But Scotch-Irish is a pretty, is, that's what I am. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Alexander. What a great question. Um, I, I have to say, Marion, one of our um, instructors uh, who wanted to be here today, uh, he, uh, and, and at the last minute couldn't make it, he's, he has red hair. And he grew up watching Happy Days and he felt so loved because there were three cast members or three family members with red hair in the house. Yes, me and Johnny Most and, and maybe Ron. Yeah, Rod, Ron Howard too, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, that was, yeah, Steve Neal. He said, boy, that just, you know, it made him feel good when he was growing up. Okay. Yeah. Um, we had an awful lot of fun together. We played softball all the time. I tell you, I need to find my glove. <laughs> oh, where's my glove? I've got my glove and my bat and my ball. Right. Equipment. <laughs> well, we have, uh, we have about three more uh, people. And the next one we have is Mr. Isaac Leva. Mr. Leva. Mr. Leva. There he is. Hi. Isaac, how are you? Good to you. It's nice to see you. Mm, I saw you on Gimmer Girls. How does it feel on the show? Well, it feels pretty nice to be sitting in my kitchen talking to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, pretty nice. I love it. And how was and where it? Do, where do you live, Isaac? Where do you live? Huh? Where do you live, Isaac? Burbank. Burbank. Oh yes, you're a neighbor of mine because I live in I live in Woodland Hills. Oh yeah. I love it when we find out who our neighbors are. Right. Get your get in your car and come on over here. Okay. <laughs> and Please. Isaac, maybe you'll cook the cook the lunch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I did I I didn't I didn't know how to to bake. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, you don't know how or you do? I don't know how. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're all going to have to take class together and learn. Well, we can go to the store and get something, you know, buy it already cooked. That's the easy way. Why not? That's the easy way. What about the Gilmore Girls? What was exciting about that? Oh, the Gilmore Girls. That, that was so, you know, what was great was was the what was the the girl who ran the restaurant M M melissa mccarthy oh oh yes melissa mccarthy ran the suki suki, suki. so i loved her <clears throat> and it was just a heck of a heck of a show and difficult yeah 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 i love these these the, a lot of the work that we do you know it's it's a challenge but it's so satisfying well, everything we do, is, it's hard. It's hard because we don't quite know what we're doing half the time, you know. <laughs> we pretend we do. We're liars. We're <laughs> great liars, aren't we? <laughs> I dealt with that yesterday in a business meeting. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. Wonderful question. Welcome. I am sorry. I can't. Uh, let's see who we have here. Uh, we have Gary. Gary is next. Let's see, Gary. Gary. Okay, I'm going to have you wave both hands. 
Do we? Donde we, esta Gary? Donde uh, Gary? Uh, like, oh, there he is. Da, 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 <laughs> Gary. There he is. Hey, thank you, David. Hello, Gary. Hello, Gary. Hello, Mrs. Ross. Nice to meet you. Is, is Tewksbury your last name? Yes, it is. Just like the town in Massachusetts. <laughs> well, I know, I know a wonderful uh, creative producer, Tewksbury. You do? What was his first name? I don't know. Peter, T Peter Tewksbury. Uh -huh. oh. Tewksbury is a wonderful name. Really? Well, yeah. thank you. Don't change that name. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm a trained voice actor, and I'm not going to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. It's a lovely thank you. pleasure of meeting Marion yes. Ross, and boy, does um, she have lovely things to say about what, you. Oh, we hear voices Whoops. talking. Whoops. Be sure you're <laughs> muted unless you're on on the show. <laughs> All right. Yes, Gary. Okay. Okay, take two. Um, <clears throat> yes, Mrs. Ross, Marion Ross, what was yes. it like working with, what was it like working with Gary Marshall, and did you have to read for him for your audition? Ha, huh, isn't that interesting? I think, I think the, the mother's part was so unimportant at the, at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, you could be the mother. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So, and as the years went on, my part got better and better and better. But uh, yeah. sometimes when a show starts, the mother can be the least important, you know. So I, I, was Gary? I and how was Gary to work with? And Gary, Gary Goldberg? No, Gary Marshall. Gary oh. Marshall was a wonderful, yeah. oh. wonderful, yeah. wonderful yeah. man, yeah. and he was kindly, always kind to us. And he and he would say, "Come on now, let's all go play softball. Come on, let's all just get along, you know." And so, and so uh, it was. It was just. It was just a wonderful, a, a wonderful family, and I felt like I was a part of that family. Well, but you sure it felt like you, you sure. were a part of ours, all of our Thank families. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Well, I wanted to, to say too, um, uh, 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 one question that I had was um, that I asked, I used to study with Corey Allen and he would start the class off this way. What do you want the most at this moment in your life? Huh. I love to be flooded with feelings, feelings, feelings running through you. And, and so that makes me very happy. Otherwise, it's flat, it's flat. It's, I, I, I find it very thrilling to have all these emotions running through you all the time. Well, you sure have given us wonderful emotions today and just given us so much joy for you being here. And we're so thankful for that. Thank you, Marion. Thank you, thank you, my darlings. Every one of you. I enjoyed talking to every one of you. Oh, and thank you for the two interpreters so much. Um, and have a good rest of the year and we hope to see you soon. Thank you, I would like to. I'll see you soon. Marion Ross, everyone, Marion Ross. Everybody, we can unmute now. We can unmute and hang out and Ooh, uh, that wasn't that a lovely so time. That, that, was, that, was, that was so lovely. It was. Oh, yeah, that, that, that was, was so great. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. Eric Chris. Hello, Eric Chris. Hey, hey David, that's one of my favorites. What is? I, I love Mary um Mary Ross. She's one of my favorites. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> yeah, she was amazing. Tell, tell tell us why you love Marion Ross. Because, because I see her on YouTube and I see her on TV. I love it. Thank you, Eric Chris. Logan Shen is next. Logan, what would you like to say to Marion Ross? What would you like to say? We're going to unmute you. Thank oh. you, Miss Marion Ross. <laughs> All right. That's, That's what it says. Thank you, Logan Shen. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Thank you. Well, Igor, what would you like to say to Marion Ross? I love her to death. I've been a fan of hers ever since I started watching uh, her on Happy Days. And 
She does a remarkable, outstanding, spectacular, splendid, dynamite job, and I just love her to death. Oh, thank you, Igor. Thank you. More than my pleasure. Anytime. Don't mention it. Yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to Marion Ross because yeah, I yeah, I really have and have enjoyed her presence uh, on on uh, in, uh, Meet the Biz, and she is a beautiful human being, and and I hope that she comes back for another one and. Yeah, thank you, David, for inviting mm -hmm. for inviting me to be on this to be on this uh, me to the biz is a class. Yes, David, I'd like to send my love to Marion Ross because she's a very very good actor, and I love her on Happy Days. I do. Gorgeous. I'm, I'm sending my love to her, David. Thank you, Bill. She'll love that. You're welcome. I want to say thank you to Madeline Walsh for coming to meet the list and you made everybody gay. You sure did. Mm -hmm. You sure did. Really did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll do what everybody else does. I'll talk to Fonzie. Hey, so you want to dance with the Fonz, huh? Join the club. Hey! Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I was mad. No dinner. Limp fez. <laughs> Thinks that I'm a slave. Oh, Mrs. C, huh? That's terrible. Well, good luck, Arthur. Hey, thanks, Mrs. C. Mom, you see, uh, you're not adopting him. <laughs> oh, I know that. Oh, yeah. I just got carried away. Well. Oh, Arthur, we will be proud to be your godparents. Yeah. <laughs> good night, Richard. Good night, Arthur. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good night, Marion. <laughs> Wanna dance? Where's your date? Oh, she's in the... Uh... Oh, I know it's me. <laughs> hey, you know, since we're just uh, standing here, you want to uh, do something? What did you have in mind? Dance. Bye, dear. Bye, Mom. Here's your thermos for work, Arthur. <laughs> Mr. C comes through those doors right there. Yo, oh, you'll be right there to put a snap in his trunks, huh? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you've given me new hope, Arthur. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Now, you always fix it. You just do like this. Mrs. C, I think you're mistaken. I only repair cars. Catch you later, blue eyes. That'll be the day. <laughs> oh, 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 sir. You don't need a screen test. You will be a star the minute they see you. <laughs> you did a wonderful job, Arnie. Um, should we make up? <laughs> hey, uh, does she yell at you like that often? Mm-hmm. But we make up differently. Yeah, get your <laughs> We 
can start rehearsing tomorrow. Oh, this is so exciting. And we are going to be so good. Thank you, Arthur. You're very sweet. Yeah. Meet the Biff! Meet the Biff! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Marion Ross! Thank you, Marion Ross! Thank you, Marion Ross! Love you! Love you, Marion Ross! Love you, everybody! Thank you, Mary Claren! Sunday, Monday, happy Christmas! Thank you, Chris! Presentation, darling! See you all later! Thank you! Be the man, all the best, and God bless!